Bengals with just one timeout. Trying to close the gap. Mixon. Touchdown, Cincinnati. And they cash in on the interception by Taylor Britt, thrown by Stroud. And the Bengals are back in business. This crowd was already filing out of the stadium, Kevin. And then as the interception happened and returned, you could see the people put the brakes on, turn around, come back into the stands. And McPherson makes it a three-point game with 3.18 to go. What a great game in week 10. Well, last week, C.J. Stroud had to pull a rabbit out of his hat and come up with a way to win a game, making big plays, getting into the end zone and coming from behind. Now he has an opportunity with a three-point lead, three minutes to go. This is what you talk about as an offense. Do you have the two-minute offense to go down and get the points? They proved that last week. Do you have the four-minute offense, which can melt the clock and not give the other team the ball back? That's going to be the challenge for him this week, is using up the rest of this clock. The Texans came into today with a league low, five giveaways. They've had three today. A couple fumbles in the first half. A big pick by Taylor Britt in the secondary. And here comes Cincinnati, and they're all lined up at the 45 for Houston. McPherson. He'll kick away, and they'll leave it in the end zone. It'll be to the 25. It'll be first and 10. And here comes C.J. Stroud. Kevin, I, I wouldn't have kicked it to I wouldn't have kicked it to Tank Dell either. Kick it out of the end zone, make the offense earn it. Now they're trying to get the crowd cranked up. They do still have one timeout left. You do still have the two-minute warning. Here's the noise. This crowd in full throat, the loudest they've been all day. 100-yard running back, Singletary with 139. 100-yard receiver, Brown. Stroud over 300 yards, first and 10. Singletary wheeling his way, slowed up initially by Reeder. A former Jackson. And as a gain of four, he takes it out to the 28. And the clock is ticking. No timeout being called there, letting it continue to go. I think what you're trying to find out, they're going to use up as much time as they can here. If you get a stop here on third down, then you can call the timeout. Then the two-minute warning allows you to get the ball back if you're able to get the stop. But the key is you've got to get the stop. Second down and six. Singletary, the hesitation, the drive, and the stop. Oh, he keeps going. And he's out near the 32. That extra burst, I've been right there. Found another gear. And he got three, and it's to the 32-yard line. Well, and there's the quick timeout. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and Iranian hitmen working in America. Followed by Yellowstone, plus a special premier presentation of Lawman Bass Reeves. Tonight, CBS Sunday. Third down and three. And what, a, what an individual effort by Singletary. Instead of it being third and six with no gain, he was able to keep working his feet and get it up to third and three. I anticipate some pressure here coming from Lou Anarumo. You see press man to man. Bengals no timeouts. A first down here, it's over. Stroud, tons of the block. On the side for Dale, broken up. Another great defensive <laughs> play. DJ Turner broke it up. Fourth and three. They've been big play by the defense of the Bengals. They've been going after Turner all day. This time he comes up big. He's beaten. The ball's a little underthrown. He locates the ball. That's Ooh, the key thing for wow. Turner. He locates the ball and gets that left arm up to knock it away at the last second. 
Big play by D.J. Turner. He is a rookie from Michigan, a second-round pick. Here comes the punt. Johnston, deep back, Irwin. Catch at the 21, hang of 4-4. He's off to the races, and then stoned at the 29. The Bengals are out of timeouts on the 47-yard punt and the seven-yard return. And Burrow will take over 26 of 37 for 283. Two and two, two touchdowns and two picks. Well, and with the incomplete pass on third down, that allows the Bengal to get a playoff, maybe even two plays off before the two-minute warning. It's first and ten. Burrow. He'll go outside. He's chased by Anderson. Throws it away. Big play. Will Anderson. Who comes up. The rookie out of Alabama. Forcing it. Second down and ten for Cincinnati. We're just before the two-minute warning. And you can see the seven career game-winning drives in the fourth or in overtime for Burrow. He's got Mixon in the backfield. 11 carries and 46 yards for him. Second and 10. Burrow. What a catch, Boyd! Off to the races. Broke a tackle, Petrie. He's going. Let's see. The lock him out of bounds inside the 10. What a throw, Burrow! 319 to go. 27 17. First and goal. Boyd caught and ran for 64. Oh, down goes Burrow! Rankins putting up one of the best performances of his terrific career. He is sacked and a timeout taken. Losing eight. They're back They're outside the out. 10. Second sack of the season, but part of a big day for Rankins. Well, Kevin, I'm, I'm actually surprised that Cincinnati didn't run the football there to try and force the Texans to burn up one of their timeouts. Yes, you're trying to score. You want to score a touchdown, but with a minute 58 to go, run the football if you don't get in you're at least forcing them to either use a timeout or use up some time but instead going for the pass and taking the sack now all of a sudden you're back at the 14 yard line so houston uses their first timeout this is just like what the texans went through last week against the buccaneers back and forth wow. big game big plays coming down to the wire second down goal Burrow's been picked off twice today. He'll run it himself. Burrow then grabbed right there. Collins got him. Drag him down. Now the clock continues and will be stopped. At 142, timeout Houston. One left there. Let's go back to New York. James and J.J. 13 unanswered by Cleveland, J.J. The AFC North has had a back and forth few minutes, and this is a pick six for the Cleveland Browns, which makes it 31 to 30. So you think they kicked the extra point and tie it, but no, they missed it. It remains 31 to 30 with 8.16 left in the fourth. Some wild games in the AFC North, guys. You have oh, got, you got to, to be, be kidding, kidding me. me. Holy cow. Oh, uh, well, now all of a sudden, if you're the Bengals, you can't be too risky in this game. You want you want to at least have the opportunity. Don't force it with a chance for a turnover. You're still in position to kick a field goal and tie it. The problem is you're giving that kid CJ Stroud a lot of time to go back and try and get the winner. And maybe a timeout third and goal. And Burrow to the air, to the end zone. Oh, Bubble, Boyd, incomplete. He could not reel it in. Oh, he had, it was he had, that close. He had two chances at it. So they're going to go for three. The field goal unit is out there. Look how close this was. Yes, he had Perriman one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the field. Beautifully thrown ball right in his hands. No safety help. One try, two tries. Almost the third try, but... We've not been tied since the first half at seven. This will be a 31-yard field goal try by Evan McPherson to tie it. No wind. Perfect. 27 all. 133 to go. 
And the former Buckeye quarterback, the rookie who has dazzled the NFL in his first year, has got 133 with which to work. Well, and a kicker who's replacing the regular kicker. Well, and if you consider what he had last week with no timeouts, had to right. go to the field under a minute, he's probably like, oh, this is all kinds of time. So you last see the teammates consoling Tyler Boyd there. Getting more of an opportunity today because of the injury to T. Higgins. Over 100 yards receiving, throwing his helmet in disgust, knowing that he just dropped what potentially could have been the game winner. Last week against the Buccaneers for the Texans, Tampa Bay took a 37-33 lead with 46 seconds left, and that is when Stroud went into another level. Took them 75 yards, got the winning touchdown pass, and they won it 39-37. Now he's got more time, a minute 33, and a timeout. And he only needs a field goal. And he only, and he needs, only a needs a field goal. goal. Exactly. McPherson will kick off. Tank Dell is back. They'll let it go in and out. 25-yard line is where the Texans will start. Stroud is out there. 305 passing yards today. A touchdown in the pick. Houston had led for 28 minutes and 47 seconds until that field goal tied it at 27. There's the defensive coordinator for the Bengals. The new kicker is warming up on the Houston sideline. The rookie quarterback has got a first and ten. And he's got a running back who has gone for 146. Singletary, first and ten. Stroud, looking, searching, throwing. Oh, oh. Tip by Dell! Incomplete in his hands. White with Boyd, second down and ten. Well, and you have... Tank Dell matched up on a linebacker, Logan Wilson. This offense has been outstanding all day. Nearly 500 yards of offense. Singletary, we mentioned with the running game, nearly 150 yards on the ground. Stroud over 300. Dell with a touchdown on the day, but that time with the drop. It's the running back, Singletary, who is grabbed by Wilson and torn down by Pratt. It's third down after the gain of four. This kicker, Matt Amendola, has never hit a kick in the NFL in a very limited resume from 50 yards or more. Well, the reason you run the ball there, if you don't get it, do you take the timeout? No, you don't. You let the clock move because now if you don't convert the third down, you don't want to give the Bengals too much time. So this third, this third down conversion is important. Third down six, Mike Boone is the back. Tank Dell in motion. Play clock at three. Here goes Stroud. Downfield and caught. Schultz. Now you call the timeout. Taylor Britt with the tackle. Down to the 46-yard line of the Bengals. What a throw by Stroud. A 25-yarder. Well, they choose not to call the timeout, and they're dialing up a play. A lot of waste of time. I thought because it was such a big play up the field, by the time everybody gets up there, you waste a lot of time. First and ten. Tons of the block. Underneath they go. Boone to the 41. Hit by Taylor Britt. Clock is stopped at 15 seconds. As Amendola, who had played for the XFL, warms up on the sideline. Big play by Schultz. Well, Schultz was going up the seam, and Cam Taylor Britt was to the outside. That wasn't even his responsibility. Taylor Britt just saw that nobody was on him, so he came over and was fortunate to make that tackle. Amendola's career long is 49. 15 seconds, and you do still have the one timeout. Second down, five. Underneath they go again, getting close, breaking free, Brown breaking free, Brown to the 20, bulldozing down there. They couldn't bring him down, five seconds to go. 22-yard oh. catch, a Bengal player is down. He's grabbing it, it looks like Hendrickson. Oh, it looks like Hendrickson is, oh. He's grabbing that left knee. Oh, that would be devastating for the Bengals. 
What a day for Noah Brown. 172 re receiving yards on eight. Make it seven catches. Well, Brown. And they didn't bring him down. They didn't bring him down. I was watching D'Amico Ryans on the far sideline. He was yelling at the official for a timeout, but Brown wasn't down yet. So he's yelling to get down. Oh. Oh, that was just, it was after the play. Brown got thrown to the ground, and as he was thrown to the ground, Trey Hendrickson was looking back towards the sideline and just fell into the back of his legs. So the top rusher on that defensive line, Trey Hendrickson, is walking off in a game which has had more twists and turns. At one time, the Houston Texans, who won last week in dramatic fashion, led it 20 to 7. Joe Burrow threw a couple of second half interceptions, but the Bengals have chipped away and finally tied the game at 27 now. And we just had a big reception by Noah Brown of 22 on a day where Stroud is thrown for 356. Singletary is rushed for 150, and Brown is caught for 172. Fairbairn is out, the regular kicker. So they sign Matt Amendola, who is going to try a 38-yard field goal to take a lead with five seconds to go. Off the practice squad for the lead, and it is good! It is good! Amendola from 38 yards! And the final is in! And the Texans have won it with a backup kicker, second consecutive win, and the rookie quarterback has done it again. The job that the Texans did coming into Cincinnati, just their second road win of the season, winning at Jacksonville and now winning at Cincinnati. Incredible effort on both sides of the football. The offense over 500 yards of offense again this week. C.J. Stroud with a critical interception at the end, setting up the Bengals to get this thing tied. Boyd could have had a touchdown, but Boyd, dropped it in the Boyd end zone. Boyd dropped a touchdown just a minute ago. And the four-game winning streak of Cincinnati comes to a close. First time the Texans have won five games in a season since 2019, and they made the playoffs that year. Matt Amendola, the game-winning.